Good morning. Today we look into some of the difference operators. Forward differences. The forward difference operator is denoted by the symbol delta. Now let's see how the forward differences are calculated. For that consider the function y equal to f of x where y0, y1, y2 etc are the values of y when uh, x has the values a, a plus h, a plus 2h etc. That is y0 is equal to f of a, y1 equal to f of a plus h, y2 equal to f of a plus 2h etc. Where h is the interv interval of differencing. You can see that if you take the difference of any two consecutive values of y, the interval or the difference will be h. That is for forward differences, uh, here the interval, we have equal intervals, the entries are at equal, sorry, the arguments are at equal intervals. See, so look at the values of x, the difference between a plus h and a is h. Likewise, the difference between a plus 2h and a plus h is also h. That means the arguments are at equal intervals. Now, let's look at the forward difference table. Now, these are the arguments. The argument x values are written here. The entry values, the corresponding entries of x are denoted by y0, y1, y2, y3. Now, the differences, the difference between the entries that is the difference between y1 and y0 is denoted by delta y0 that is and it is called as the first forward difference the first forward difference is denoted it's generally denoted by the symbol delta y and for each difference these are the values or these are the representations that means the first forward difference delta y can, is defined as the first difference will be y1 minus y0 is equal to delta y0. Like that y2 minus y1 is equal to delta y1. y3 minus y2 is equal to delta y2. So these are the first forward differences. Now the second forward differences is denoted by the symbol delta squared y. The second forward differences is the differences of the first forward differences. That is the first value of the second difference will be the difference between delta y1 and delta y0. So the difference between delta y1 minus delta y0 is equal to delta squared y0. Like that difference between these two that is delta y2 minus delta y1 is delta squared y1. So similarly you can find the next higher order differences. The next difference that is the third forward difference generally represented by delta qy is the difference between the second differences. So here in this table the third difference is delta squared y1 minus delta squared y0 is equal to delta q y0. You should note that uh, the values, see y1 minus y0 is equal to delta y0. That is the lowest suffix is given to the, uh, given along with the differences, difference notations. Okay, like this for delta squared y0 means delta squared y1 minus delta y0 and delta q y0 is delta squared y1 minus delta squared y0 the lowest suffix of the difference is given okay so this and this table is called the diagonal forward difference table now in this diagonal forward difference table the diagonal elements that is delta y0 delta squared y0 delta q y0 like that that is the first differences are taken as the leading forward differences. So from the diagonal forward difference table, in the case of forward differences, the leading differences are delta y0, delta squared y0, delta cube y0. So these are the leading forward differences, uh, differences. that is delta, delta y0, 
delta squared y naught, delta q y naught are called the leading forward differences. These values will be used for interpolation formulas. Therefore, the forward difference operator delta f of x can be defined as f of x plus h minus f of x. That is delta f of x is written as we can find the difference forward difference delta f of x by subtracting f of x plus h minus f of x that is the next function value minus the current function value okay so forward is f of x plus h minus f of x so delta f of x plus h can be written as the next value that is f of x plus 2h minus f of x plus h so like this you can find the forward difference of any function the second operator is backward difference operator denoted by the notation del so del represents a backward difference operator now let's see how it is defined consider a function y equal to f of x and let h be the interval of differencing then the first backward difference of the function is defined as del f of x is equal to f of x minus f of x minus h. Del f of x is equal to f of x minus f of x minus h. In the forward difference delta, in the forward difference delta f of x was f of x plus h minus f of x. Here del f of x that is a backward difference operator del f of x is defined as f of x it starts with what is given here so f of x minus the previous one f of x minus h this is backward difference this is how the backward difference operator del is defined okay now let's see the difference table now x is the x gives us the arguments and uh, f of x gives us the entries so uh, the values of arguments and entries are same as we have seen in the forward table now the differences del f of x is written as here also the difference y minus y0 is taken as the first backward difference but the notation is different uh, in, before in the forward case y minus y0 was written as delta y0 here it will be written as del y1 that is a higher suffix value is given with del ok so uh, in the case of backward difference table the difference y1 minus y0 will be represented as del y1 so y2 minus y1 will be represented as del y2 and y3 minus y2 will be represented as del y3. So in the case of a second, a second backward uh, difference del squared it will be del y2 minus del y1 will is equal to del squared y2 and del y3 minus del y2 will be written as del squared y3 like that the third backward difference um, difference can also be written and it will be written as del q y3 is equal to del squared y3 minus del squared y2 so this is the diagonal backward difference table and in the case of backward difference table the leading differences are taken the one at the end that is these are the leading backward differences okay the values at the end of the table okay the diagonal at the end from the last so uh, the leading backward differences are del y3 del squared y3 del cube y3 and so on so in general we can write the leading backward differences as del yn del squared yn del cube yn etc in the case of forward differences the leading differences were delta y naught delta squared y naught delta cube y naught in the case of backward differences the leading backward differences are del yn del squared yn del cube yn etc the third operator is a shift operator denoted by the symbol capital e now consider a function y equal to f of x 
and let h be the interval of differencing then the shift operator e is defined as e of f of x is equal to f of x plus h e of f of x is equal to f of x plus h the shift operator is also called the displacement operator shift operator is also called the displacement operator because it shifts the value of the function f of x to the next higher value f of x plus h so if we are finding e of f of x then we will get f of x plus h if we are finding e of f of x plus h then we will get f of x plus 2h so that means it shifts the function to the next higher value now uh, now look at uh, look at the uh, this question that is e squared f of x we can write e squared as e of e of f of x that is this e, this e squared is split as e of e of f of x now within the bracket e of f of x can be written as f of x plus h now applying the outer e to f of x plus h we'll get f of x plus 2h that means e squared f of x is equal to f of x plus 2h that is when uh, e has the power 2 it displaces by 2 that is the meaning okay 2 times it displaces 2 times so x plus 2h so in general we can write e of e raised to n f of x is equal to f of x plus nh also e raised to minus 1 f of x is equal to f of x minus h so this is the uh, shift operator e this is the definition of the shift operator now uh, we now we have learned three operators forward difference operator backward difference operator and shift operator let's see the relation between these three operators so this is the relation between the operators that is 1 plus delta is equal to e and 1 minus del is equal to e minus e raised to minus 1 this is an important relation the next operator is divided difference operator denoted by the symbol small delta but the divided difference operator delta is used when the arguments x0 x1 x2 are not at equal intervals so divided differences are used when the arguments are not at equal intervals now let us consider the function y equal to f of x let y0 y1 y2 etc be the y values for the corresponding values of x0 x1 x2 etc here the x0 x1 x2 are not at equal intervals the first order divided differences are denoted by delta if it's first order then there will be two arguments within uh, within the brackets for along with delta small delta so small delta x1 x0 is equal to that is the difference for the arguments x1 and x2 is equal to y1 minus y0 divided by x1 minus x0 so this portion is included since the arguments are not at equal intervals so the first order divided differences is defined as delta x1 x0 is equal to y1 minus y0 by x1 minus x0 that is a divided difference is defined to be the difference between the consecutive values of entry divided by the difference between the corresponding values of the arguments so delta x2 x1 will be written as y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 like this you can find the first order difference of all the consecutive arguments okay now the second order divided differences are the second order divided differences are as you know that the second order differences will be the difference of the first order so the second order divided difference denoted by delta x2 x1 x0 since it's second order there will be three arguments so delta x2 x1 x0 is equal to differences of the numerator contains the differences of the first differences that is difference of delta x2 x1 minus delta x1 x0 
divided by x2 minus x0. The difference in the range x2 minus x0. That is delta x2 x1 x0 is equal to delta x2 minus x1 minus delta x1 minus x0. The whole divided by x2 minus x0. Then delta x3 x2 x1 can be written as delta x3 x2 minus delta x2 x1 divided by x3 minus x1. Like this way we can find all the second order divided differences. Now the third order divided difference of y are written as delta x3 x2 x1 x0 is equal to delta x3 x2 x1 minus delta x2 x1 x0 the whole divided by x3 minus x0. So we have to the uh, what we have to remember is the order of any divided difference. The order of any divided difference is 1 less than the number of values of the arguments in it. So the order is 1 less than the number of values of the arguments in it.